Yo, Leo, how are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you. I'm seeing somebody help a child tie their shoe. You may see this in a movie, um, see this somewhere. You're seeing somebody help a child tie their shoe. There's something significant that you're thinking about at the time that you see that. Or you have asked for something. And Spirit wants you to know that it's coming. Uh, and this is an indicator of that response. Okay. So let's see um, what Spirit has for you guys here. You know, you have the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. Some of you are going over and over and over again in your mind. A circumstance, a situation, some sort of heartache, some sort of conflict. There is something that you wanted to happen by now and it hasn't happened. So, you know, yeah, because you have temperance and then you have the four of wands. So this is, you know, I want to take temperance is I want to take this and I want to make it into something else. That's what they're do. He's do the angel is doing with this water. You know, they're trying to turn it into something else. OK, so with the 1111 card, there's a portal that you're wanting to walk through. There's a new thing that you're wanting to happen here. There's some disappointment because it's not happening yet right um but you know the time is here so it's kind of like there's a there's a restless energy and there's an energy of you know maybe this isn't going to happen so i shouldn't get that excited you know it's kind of the energy that it feels like um it just uh yeah so on the five of wands but the five of wands is going to the four of wands the three of wands it's here this is here for you something that you're really really passionate about a lot of you have a lot of love to give and you're just ready to be with someone and have this commitment it's like you've healed everything within yourself you're a complete person you did everything that you needed to do and now you're so excited to be ready to enter into a union with somebody else and you know manifest this healthy relationship love with someone that you can rely on and it's like the next step would be for this person to come in and for this to happen already and there's a little bit of like well maybe it's not going to come in maybe it's not going to happen you know this time of year puts a rush on things people want things to happen before the new the end of the you know this new year you know and you do have the death card and then you have the wheel of fortune so it's like this is coming in faster than it is that you think so you know you have the strength card here don't count something out just yet some of you are like okay you want to put a deadline in your mind and you're kind of like well the deadline should be like today so if this hasn't happened sorry excuse me I don't know what's going on <laughs> if this hasn't happened by like today by like now well then maybe it's not going to happen look at this divine timing <laughs> the wheel of fortune is like you're on the right path okay this is coming towards you here look at this you have the knight of pentacles there is somebody that wants to come in and wants to offer you something and you're like disappointed that it's not divine time yet. It hasn't happened yet. It's like it should have already happened by now. For a lot of you are getting like signs and symbols. Yeah, you know, the Ace of Swords, this is communication that you were getting and you were like, oh, I thought this was going to happen by now. It's not happening by now. You know, so what the heck is this about? There's a decision you have the two of swords. There's a decision that you have to make here. And then you have the 11-11. So there is something here that you had to alter. You had to choose in your communication, in your own delivery. And that something is what was needed. You know, it's like you need to have the choice. Somebody needs to come to communicate to you. And then the choice needs to be yours. It can't be the other way around. Because every time it's always been the other way around. And... That's not the way that it's supposed to be. So it's just like you have to allow something to happen instead of being the initiator 
of something happening. And that's very, 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 very frustrating. And it's making you want to just walk away from the whole thing. But it's like, well, where would you even go anyways? You know what I mean? Wherever you go, you're just going to be thinking about this. You have the sun and you have the empress here. This could be another Leo coming in. This could be a Taurus coming in. So, a lot of happiness here for you. And there is a perfect person here for you that was handpicked, I'm hearing, handpicked by spirit to come in for you. And now it's the figuring out of how is this going to all come into play, but it's not anything that you need to worry about it's not anything that you need to go and do or you need to force you need to walk away from this idea of you having to orchestrate this it is being done for you it's like asking it is given and you trust that it is given look at this you trust that it is given and you're living in joy and you're keeping your focus on your passions and what it is that's just driving force within you to learn and to grow that is something that it's like you're also learning how to nurture yourself how to do self-care that's been a very important time there's been a lot of development of self that needed to happen in this time uh in a time of isolation and a time of you being by yourself and uh a lot of you you know you didn't want that to happen it's not that you didn't want to grow but it's like you know you're ready to get on with the show here you know it's the energy you have the magician and then you have the fool so this is very like it's like being so excited about everything and being ready, like just feeling like you're ready for someone to come in already. So, okay, let's get, let's get started here. I have three of cups. This is in your present now energy. So, um, this is like... To me, that's something that it's like, okay, right now what's coming up for you is there's something about going out with other people, hanging out with people, hanging out with friends, joy, happiness, celebrating something. There's a celebration that is like right here for you. It's the first card out. This is the present energy. So if you're not feeling this way right now, you're about to be. You know, that's an indication of that coming in for you here. You have the Queen of Swords here. So this is what's crossing you. So it's kind of like knowing when to go out and to indulge and when to celebrate and when you have taken that too far. Doing so in a balanced way. You don't want to overindulge. You don't want to, um, you know, be too stern, but you don't want to be too um just carefree at the same time also so you're not getting anything done because it feels like you have a lot of things that you're wanting to accomplish it's like you know that joy is the key and you know what it is that you want to do and you have all this passion but you have to direct that passion in a certain manner you know and you have to balance out enjoying yourself and being free and loving who you are right and the people you surround yourself as well this is a challenge about being strict on who you allow what company you allow yourself to keep and it's not just going to be just anyone is going to be in your friends circle a lot of you are like cutting it down to where it's like you really have barely anyone that you interact with that you talk to and you know there's a lot of focus that's happening here on a passion on something that you're learning to perfect on something that you care about manifesting in this 3d uh reality here and then you have the tower so something suddenly coming in here for you that you've been wanting for quite some time so as oh, even more happiness, even more joy, even more abundance, even more freedom, even more movement and drawing things to you with that it is that you're wanting, you know. So justice is grounding you. Okay. You believe in the laws of the universe you believe in cause and effect you believe in karma you believe in um you know there's something there's a spiritual basis that you have you know justice can talk about the law as well you know it doesn't have to but it can just talk about you have figured out 
your law, on how you want to law your life. Makes any sense, but it's just like this energy of you know, like what is right to you, what is wrong to you, what it is it that you believe in. There is something here that you had some beliefs that were not serving you the best, that were not healthy beliefs for you in your life. They were beliefs that you saw, you witnessed younger ages. And you formulated from hardships that you went through in your life. And there has been some alteration of that because you have realized that I thought this was the way that things went. I thought this was this is this. And you're now seeing how your actions and what your intentions were and what that was leading you to. And you don't want to have those intentions anymore and you don't want to have those actions anymore. You want to have different actions because you want to have a different outcome. So this is the energy that you're moving into and this is the world card. So this is telling me that you're doing it. You're putting up, you know, with the wreath around her, this is the barricade that is being put up, you know, and all of the fixed signs are on this card. So it feels like it could be very drawn to fixed signs at this time, Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. But you're very like, okay, this is what I want. And this is not what I want anymore. And there's been some decisions that have been made. There have been some boundaries that have been set up. You have set up these laws. And now you have, like, how are you going to enforce them? And what needs to happen for them to be enforced? And you're backing that up in all other areas of your life. And this is about you taking care of yourself and standing by what it is you think and what's right for you for your life and not altering that for anybody else you're not going to alter what's right for your life for somebody else you know that's in the past you used to do that you know you used to do things that were not good for you but it was good for other people and that's not okay and now you're learning that that is not okay and so you're making these changes you know it's a beautiful energy and then in the near future you have the page of pentacles So you have some sort of an opportunity presenting itself to you, some sort of communication coming to you that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, it's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to allow a lot of doors opening for you, a lot of opportunities coming to you that you never thought you were going to have. I'm hearing like, I never thought, you know, nobody ever thought, you know, like a small town like me would ever be here, you know, and... It's happening. It's it's very true, you know, and it's just like, man, nobody would have predicted that this stuff was going to be going on for me. You know what I mean? It's the kind of energy that it has. You have the Knight of Cups here. So somebody wants to make an offer of love towards you. Somebody wants to move forward. You have the Three of Wands. So there's a lot of fear over, is this going to happen? There's a little bit of fear of, well, maybe nobody uh, worthy is just ever going to come along. Maybe nobody is ever going to notice me and nothing is, and it's just like, I can't even get the rest of that sentence out because that is a fear deep, 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 deep down, which even you know is not true. You just shine so brightly and everyone can see it. And you know, you have the fool here, you have the world here. So it's like you're taking this, you're, this new beginning is here for you. It's not going anywhere. It's not being taken away from you. It's not, um, it's not that you have more karma to go through or, you know, you didn't learn lessons or, you know, it's going to happen. It's happening. It is happening. Um, Spirit wants you to have the energy of it like it, it like it has already happened, you know, and this is how um, this is how we attract that in here. So I have the six of pentacles here. There are situations where you stopped giving, where you started giving, where you stopped giving. There has been alterations in where you give. This is energy, time, money. Um, your advice, your opinion, uh, just giving anything of yourself, information about yourself. You have changed the way that you do that. 
and that is what is working for you. There is an urge to follow the old path and overshare information with people to feel some sort of camaraderie or closeness with them to develop a relationship with them. And that's changing. You're not doing that anymore. You're kind of seeing that you don't really have to do anything. You can just have this um, boss energy and everything just magically works out for you and everything is just magically working out for you. This is the emperor card. This is your advice. So this is the energy that you're stepping into now. And it's a big one. It's a big energy and it's energy that you deserve to have. You have the queen of wands card here. So there is something very unique about you. And this uniqueness about you is going to shine. I didn't even see that the star flew out here. So you have the queen of wands and the star. You're going to be in the spotlight. You're going to be very much so in the spotlight. It's like spirit's giving me this energy of like, you're just going to feel like rearranging some things. You've been feeling like, um, you know, checking into this, checking into that because things are about to start happening for you and you're about to be in the spotlight. And you're not going to have time to do these kinds of things, you know, anymore. So it's kind of like um, this energy of someone who I heard this in a movie. It's popping into my head. I have no idea what movie it is, but this girl is pregnant and her mom tells her, you know, nobody tells you when you become pregnant for the first time that you mourn who you used to be because you're never going to be that again. Now you're a mom now. You're going to be a mom now and you, you know, you're who you are, it's changed for the rest of your life. And it's a beautiful experience, you know, and all of that, right? But it's it's a, it's a it's something that it's, you know, the old you is never going to be there's something about the single you and then the you in a relationship, even the healthiest most beautiful relationship, you know, where you can completely be yourself. It's different than when you're by yourself and you're single and you're on your own and you're going through this life. You're different and those days are different and the way you interact with people are different and your friends and the things that you do and the way your day-to-day -day life is, is going to change. It's not going to be that anymore. And some of you, most of you are so ready for that change to happen. There's this restless energy. But once it comes in, there is a little bit of mourning <laughs> the old you. But the, it's, it's still excitement. It's still moving forward. It's still what you want. But you know how you have these emotions that arise. So spirit is kind of telling you, you're about to be very busy. So rest. So do things that you need to do. So sit by yourself and stare out the window at nature, you know, and don't feel guilty about it. You know, like things are about to get very hectic for you in your life. And it's like you're not allowed, you're not um, going to be single for much longer. So spirit wants you to take this time to focus your energy on what it is that you're wanting here uh, on on. on what what it is that's happening right now be present that's a message <laughs> be present so as much as you can be right let's see this three of cups what's this three of cups about three of cups You know, you have the five of cups, you have the page of swords and you have the three of pentacles. So this is career. This is talking about a career. This is talking about you had a disappointment. Something didn't go in a particular way. There's more knowledge that you gained. There's something else that you learned. And now you have an opportunity being presented to you to grow something that you care about, to have some sort of career success that you didn't have before, to have more uh, financial stability, to be able to do your passion and enjoy your day-to-day -day life. There is something that you are learning here because you used to be disappointed 
and how you had to spend your time. And you didn't just say, well, I'm disappointed in how this is, so I'm just gonna keep complaining about it and that's it, that's my life, it's disappointing. No, you said, okay, so what am I gonna do about it? Because the Page of Swords, you know, this person is getting up early in the morning, they are, you know, eating a healthy, balanced breakfast, right? You know, they're following this diet. They climb to the top of this mountain and they're practicing the use of this sword until sundown. And then when they go at home, they still practice and, you know, they barely get any sleep. It's like they're really working hard, you know what I mean? To try to achieve something. They're training for something. And, you know, this is something that they have chosen to dedicate their life to, like a lifestyle. And it's going to open a lot of other doors and more things to be learned and blah, 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 blah. Like somebody going to boot camp to be, you know, in the, what do you go to a boot camp for? Like army, maybe, something. <laughs> in the army. Yeah, you go to boot camp. So, yeah. So it's like they're, they're you know, okay. So that's what you're doing here is, you know, you have learned something here and it doesn't have to be through an institution or it could be, um, but it's just something that it's like, it's a direction change. You learn something about something and now you're applying it to that. And now there is an opportunity to go do it. It's like, okay, now you made boot camp, you know, you made it in the, you passed. And so now you're a soldier, you know? So it's like, okay, now you're going out there and you're like, you know, excited because you're working with other people and you're doing whatever your missions are. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is the growth that is happening here. So there's something here that you're going to be able to celebrate in an area of your life where you haven't been able to celebrate in quite some time and it's been a focus of you for a long time so a lot of you have a really clear idea about what that is um you have the full card here again so this is definitely a new beginning that spirit is opening up for you opening up a lot of doors for you so if you're worried about how something is going to go are you going to have enough there's like a little bit of undertone worry of Am I going to be able to make it through this? Am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to, it's like there is something here that you want to happen and this is like you made it, you know? And Spirit is letting you know that yes, this is coming. This is here, you're on the path to achieving that. So yeah, you have the Knight of Pentacles here. So there is an offer coming towards you. And for a lot of you, this is significant and this is gonna cause, you know, just look, you have the three of wands and then the ace of pentacles. So this is a new opportunity to make substantial amount of money that's going to make you very, very happy coming through. And you, you have the page of pentacles again. So this is like, you know, this is what's coming here for you in this near future. And it's very sudden with the tower and the sun again coming out. So this is something for you to be very excited about. These changes that are coming into your life that are going to allow you this financial freedom, I'm hearing. Finally, financial freedom. And people are not going to believe it, but it's like in a good way, you know? Okay, so let's see, let's clarify this fears here. Let's clarify your internal fears that do not exist, right? You have the king of wands, you have the five of pentacles, and you have the emperor. Some of you may be suffering from imposter syndrome. Some of you may feel like, you know what, I don't even know if I can do this. And this is so what you're meant to do. And you're so talented. You so stand out in this. You shine in this. The light of the universe shines through you when you're doing whatever this particular thing is. And there is immense growth to happen here. You know, you have this five of pentacles being stuck out in the cold and then regaining yourself here with this king of wands, you know, regaining healing, being standing tall in your energy, doing the work that you needed to do, being in this good, amazing, awesome place of growth and passion, vitality, excitement for life. And then it's like, okay, but should I be worried that I'm really here and I just think I'm over here? And spirit's like, oh no. 
You're not any of those. You're the empress. You're above that. You're already above that. It's like instant success. It's like, oh, okay, you know, you could um, apply for this job and you think you're going to get the job. And it's like, oh, no, you didn't get that job. You got the one way higher up, you know. And th there's this energy of something like that happening here for you guys. Um, so it's like don't count yourself out with the king of swords. Don't count yourself out. Don't not go for things. Don't um, call attention to your weaknesses, okay? Um, be intelligent here. This is giving me the energy of if you're in a job interview and somebody asks you a question, don't say, oh, well, I don't know that because I didn't go to school for that. Or, you know, I don't think I would be able to do something like that. You know, maybe the job interview is for something and they need somebody for something else. And they just throw this question in you that has nothing to do with anything that the purpose was of the meeting. It's like, go out on that limb. There is a pull, impulse that you have in you to go out on this limb and to answer this the way, it's like spirit's gonna give you the answer in your mind. You know, you have the intellect, you have the answer. It's like people need to go to school to train to do something, but some people, they just know how to do it already and they have no experience in it and they're just amazing in it and they just get it. It just comes very, natural and natural you know what I mean and I feel like there is something here that you're very talented that you are a natural in and so don't um you know if people assume things about you it's it's okay to allow them to assume those things you don't overcorrect. don't you know what I mean like be wise uh when this is coming about here you have the moon card here so it's like yeah it's okay to be mysterious. And if somebody is asking you this question and you know the answer, well, you can answer the question. You know, I feel like you're going to impress people. It's like, okay, maybe they're expecting, it's like, let's say there was a college class and there's all these different years of college, right? In one room. And the question is directed more at the, you know, people about to graduate and you're a first year, you just started, you know, and you know the answer, but it's like, oh, well, this is for them. So I shouldn't answer that. No, you know the answer. Say the answer, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. This is confirming this. This is communication. This is balanced, clear communication. So there's communication coming to you and you're going to have something to say as well. So when you feel like you have something to say and it's like, oh, well, I don't know, maybe I should just, no, no, you have something to say. Follow this impulse and say something. You're going to know because you're going to feel it. And there's going to be this, uh, I don't know if I should, but there's a strong pull within you to do it. Don't go to the logic of, well, you know, don't overthink it and get yourself confused here. Uh, take this opportunity to speak up because it's like you're going to be very happy that you did. You're going to make a lot of new plans. You're going to be able to make a lot of new plans. You know what I mean? Um, about this, it's like a whole new thing you got going on here. Okay, so let's see this um, outcome here. Let's see this outcome where you have the Queen of Wands and the star here. What is this about? You had justice come out. And you had the Eight of Wands with the Knight of Cups. So, you know, you're balanced, you're strong in your energy. You have a lot of good karma coming towards you as well. You just do. Good karma, good communication. Things are just going to magically be working out for you wherever you go. And, um, you know, there is somebody here that wants to let it be known that they're interested in you. There's somebody who wants to let it be known that they want something more with you. And it's like, I feel like in the past, they have wanted this. Uh, they may have had their eye on you for quite some time, but it still feels sudden. You have the three of cups and then the tower. So you're not expecting this when you go out you're not expecting this when you're celebrating when you're in this victory mode here when you're out with people with friends you're not expecting someone to reach out here okay you have the ace of wands it's a very passionate offer there is somebody here that wants to get to know you they want to understand more about you 
and they feel like they want to ask you on a date. So it's like, you just didn't think that this was going to happen. But at the same time, you have been anticipating this and frustrated about when is this going to happen already? You have passion, instant chemistry. Did I not just say there was a lot of passion here and you have the ace of wands? How interesting is this? And the Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Cups, okay? It's like going on and on. You know, you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, and it's the world. So it's like because you set up all of these boundaries, this could be an earth sign. You have the Wheel of Fortune here, Divine Timing. Divine Timing is dependent upon you setting up the right boundaries. So you realizing your standards and that you're not going to go below these standards and that you are going to attract this person into your life just the way that you are, just by being who you are with this Queen of Wands. And there's nothing else that you need to do other than that. There's nothing else you need to maintain other than your own vibration. And that's it. And you have a vibration <laughs> of abundance, of success, of someone that you can share your life with, someone who's going to be loyal and someone who wants a family as well. I feel like this person, you know, they may be at a distance from their family, live at a distance from their family. Um, they don't fit in in their family. They have wanted a family for a long, long time and they have never really had that. They've never really had a partnership where they can really have something with somebody. And that's what they're wanting at this time. You know, you have the chaser card here. So this person is now going to become the chaser, okay? So it's like, you know, this could be a twin flame situation, soulmate energy. I don't really like to label something as twin flame energy um, because when you do that, you're fixating on it. You're thinking about it all the time and you're just pushing it away, pushing it away, you know, and that's not what this is about. This is about allowing them to come to you. And that's the energy that's coming about here. You have dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Did I not say things are coming to light here? Wow. Wow. You have heart with the key. Welcome love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. And under that love call. Okay, so there's some kind of communication coming towards you. Someone wants to let you know that they are interested and they want to make this move. They have feel very drawn to you. There's an instant connection, instant chemistry. They want to let you know how they're feeling because they do not want somebody else to you know, they want to know, are you single? Are you, you know, they can't believe that you're single. They want to come towards you before somebody else is going to, there's like a lot of enthusiasm. I can barely even get out the words. They're so excited. They cannot believe that this has happened. This may be a person that you have known them for a long time and you weren't single before. And so, whoa, this is a person who kind of feels like I just met the person in my dreams. I can't believe this person is single. Like I need to like, you know, they're a very enthusiastic person in their life. They're very excited about everything. And they want to just someone that they can enjoy life with. This is something that they've been asking for, that they've been hoping for for a long, long time. So they're just very enthusiastic about you. They're very enthusiastic about this connection. And, you know, wanting to see where this can go here. You have idealism. So they feel like you are the ideal person. They feel like you are their ideal partner. And they feel like you are the one. And I feel like you feel it too. You both feel this way about each other. And I feel like it's going to surprise both of you. You have power here and vision here. You are going to know what a powerful creator you are, what a powerful manifester you are, because this, be, this exceeds your perfect vision of what it is that you have been wanting for so, so very long. So now you know. You know more than ever how powerful you are and how much it is that you look at this. Look at this achievement. You have control here. So it's like, you know, you're really learning how to create your own reality, how to co-create with the universe, how to work with the universe here. There's things happening now that it's like you're not even going to believe all of this beauty it all of this love all of this um success is possible 
And this is something that you kind of, there was a time in your life where you never thought you could have all of this, you know, everything that you're wanting and more and you can, and it's here for you. And you're a vibrational match to all of this abundance, all of this success, all of this financial stability, all of your dreams coming true. And a person who genuinely loves you for the right reason, someone you can share and build this connection on. You have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Capricorn, and Pisces. So those are not all the signs though, you know, and it could be an, another sign. So if you're um, not connecting with any of those signs, that's fine. That's fine too. Okay, let's see if we have a Gypsy Oracle. You have a person here. It could be something to do with you and this person and cats. And it says service. This person has a kind heart. They could really care about animals. That's what I'm getting. They love animals and they care about other people. This is a person that is always consoling other people. They uh, will talk with other people. Look, you have thought. This is a very thoughtful person. You have love. There is a lot of love that this person gives here in this world. A lover. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. They uh, have a community of people. They have people that ask them for advice. This person is always willing to give advice. This person, they could have an animal or they have a dream of having animals or helping animals. There's a way that they have that they give back to this world that is very important to them. They just have a kind, generous heart. And they're the kind of person that just... They notice when somebody seems to need help, they always just seem to be there helping. You know, they're a very thoughtful, very kind person. And they are they want, they have a lot of love to give and a lot of love to share. And it's like, everyone is like seeing this person as like, man, I really want somebody special for that person. This person really deserves somebody special. I feel like when these people meet you, they're going to be instantly no. Instantly know all eyes are going to be on the two of you and this person is going to be romantic, you know, they're they want someone to be romantic with, you know, they have been envisioning things that they want to do for someone and they have wanted someone to share this life with for so, 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 so very long. And now it's like you're finally here. You have letters. So there's definitely communication. This person is not afraid to communicate with you. I mean, in every single deck it has come out. This person is going to communicate with you. You have the letter, you have the love call, and we got the Ace of Swords. How many times here? Eight of Wands here, a huge card of communication here. There's a lot of communicating going on. This person is going to tell you how it is that they feel about you. This is something that You've been working towards for a long, long time. You've been working on your vibration. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on what it is that you want, your vision, your goal, your dreams. And now it's time when this is paying off here with this Ten of Pentacles. Now it's this time where your harvest is finally coming in here. This is beautiful, Leo. And this is something that you absolutely deserve. Okay, so thank you so much. If this video resonated with you and you want to like or subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, um, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.